Clippers like you too so much. Because they have a spiritual sense of belonging. They used to make love under the red sunset. She would make all the promises I was soon to forget. She was pale as a lace of a wedding gown. I left her standing before. Ran to a new joint. And welcome back now. As you can see, I am surrounded by members of the International Press Corps here in the press room. There are about 150 people in all. And the first person I'm going to talk to is Martina, who is here from Germany. Martina, tell us your name in the paper that you work for. I'm Martina Wimmer from Music Express Germany. So what do you think of this big U2 event? Are you a U2 fan? Um, not really. Um, well, I like the event anyway. It's kind of okay. I mean, I like the show up to now. And what do you think about the TV show so far? I liked it very much. Can you give us an idea of what you're going to be writing about for your, your paper? Just a small thing, maybe, like about the whole event, about the TV show. But I'm not quite sure how many people in Germany could watch it or people knew about it in Germany. So you're happy you're here on the Zoo TV tour? Yes. Okay, good. And our next guest is James Brown, who is from what paper in London? I work for the Sunday Times Colour Supplement in London. And what do you think of you 2 I think you 2 are fabulous, you know. I think it's fantastic the way they've reinvented themselves. And I also think it's very, very nice of Bonner to step down from his job as Pope to take over the Prime Minister of the country. Yes, and he offered to be the Prime Minister. No politicians have responded so far. And can you give us a preview of what you're going to write for your paper? No. <laughs> no? Okay, well, we're moving right along to Francine okay. Cunningham. She is a local girl. What paper are you from? The Sunday Business Post. And now, obviously, the boys have come home. And what's that like for you, being a Dubliner? Um, it doesn't really affect me personally. I think the entire program is completely self-serving. Tell me a little more about that. I think it's an extended promo for you too. I'd like to see them uh, being asked some critical questions for a change. If you could, if they were standing here right now, what would you ask them? Well, I think it's entirely um, self-conscious. Uh, when Bono's playing a party or a rock star, he's still being a rock star. Okay, so Bono, if you are listening to this and you see it later, this is something that you can listen to from Francine. Okay, good. And now, back to the show. Hey, Larry, can you look at this, this whole thing that's going on on stage and say, well, that's my little bit? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Let me which, rephrase that. Which, which particular <laughs> little bit? Can you, can you look at this, this whole thing that's going on on stage and say, well, part of this is, is my creation, part of this was my idea? Definitely not. So they cut you out cold. Absolutely. Is what you're saying. Yeah, I'm basically, I'm doing it for the money. We've stumbled <laughs> on into a sad yeah. story here. Yeah. Do you think that the audience is getting something out of this? Do you think that they're seeing something new? Do you think it's stimulating their imagination? Yeah, they're coming to a rock and roll gig and watching television. I think that, I mean, <laughs> what more can you ask?